All right, hello again. I'm going to look at the Optech USA camera strap. Kind of switching away from the um, straps by Peak Design. I still have one of the slide lights. So that's this, which you're probably familiar with if you have spent any time looking at uh, camera straps. And these are really heavy duty. Really nice. There's little clips you can pull up and down on the metal clip here to help adjust it and then it snaps back down. So the only thing that I didn't really like about these, and these are really heavy duty again, that you know it's really nice and it's um, it's really good for slinging across your body. Uh, it's these metal buckles and I leave the straps on when they're in my camera bag or backpack and um, these metal buckles, you know, I just keep worrying that they're going to uh, scrape on my cameras and, um, you know, I'm just doing this for a hobby. So if you're paying two, three thousand dollars for a camera body and uh, planning on reselling it to help buy the next camera later on, um, then, you know, you don't want to have it all scratched up. And, uh, you know, if it gets scratched in the course of use, OK, but I just don't want my camera strap scratching it up and it's just I kept worrying about this I know you can actually take these off they're it's really just on there for looks and um, to uh, help pull the strap up and down to adjust it but technically you can take those off and you end up with this plastic um, buckle there um, but the part down here that connects to the camera so this is the you know, those little anchors that they come with um, this part here it's a little bit questionable. It's mostly plastic, I believe, and kind of rounded off so it's not really too bad as far as any danger of uh, scratching something. But because of the, you know, just being concerned about the scratches and nicks, you know, because of these metal buckles, um, just started looking at some other straps and decided to go with these Optex straps. They have some different. Um, Move this up there and hopefully they'll focus different kind of connections and straps. It's kind of like, um, you know, the peak design where you can kind of build your own system. But this one has a quite a bit more um, options. So basically the way this works and the way I had to do mine, this um, is the, I can't even remember the name of the strap. I'll put it in the link, but um, this one, it's a neoprene strap and it has the nylon part for the strap, you know, and some plastic buckles and it does have a quick disconnect. So it's a little bit too short for me. So I ended up having to buy a couple extensions. Now, funny thing is here, I'm just using the original on one side. There we go. Finally get it in all in the frame. So this piece right here, is part of the strap that came came with the strap. But on the other side, uh, this one right here, up to here, is an extension strap. And then this part here, down to here, is just part of the strap. So I had to buy a couple extensions, but all together this is like $25. So you get two of the extensions, the uh, camera strap itself, and these, you know, the anchors that attach to the camera. So I really like these. These are, you have to push them through. If you have these little um, plastic pieces that are on your camera rings, the, the strap ring there, if it has that little piece of plastic on it, it's hard to get these through unless you fold them over because these are kind of flat and pretty wide. So hopefully you get a good look at that. But um, you can push that through and then you have this connection here. So after you uh, take this part off, then you can, you know, you can loosen this up. This will, um, you can slide that through and then bend this over and loop it through itself onto the strap. I mean, obviously, you know what I mean. But these are nice, heavy duty. You know, that's not really thin or anything and um, the connection is pretty strong here. They actually sell little pieces of Velcro that you can, if you're worried about it coming loose somehow, which I don't see how it would, um, 
through the top part here and then the bottom part here you can loop a piece of velcro and that'll hold it so if if this were ever to come and loose somehow which again it's really not going to come loose you can do that they sell some or you can just buy some velcro yourself and do that so anyway i have this one is not the extension on this side so there up to there is the camera strap and on the other side this piece here this is part of the extension down to here and that's where it connects together again get in the rest of the strap the other thing that's just a little bit of a downside for me this is um, really grippy so the peak design one has a grippy part also but it's on the side that you nor don't normally have around your neck so you can see the little ribs here it's kind of like a silicone attached to it so that's the grippy part and then this part on the bottom is where you know i would normally have it around my body so kind of slung around my shoulders the way i usually use it so i would have this down farther and the same on the other side and i would just have it over my shoulder and the camera down here on my side so that's why I, and then it slides around really easy and so i want to pull the camera up i just slide it and pull it right up so the only issue with the optech strap is that um, again the the way you would normally wear it uh, where the buckles are in the right position and you know it's mostly flat on this side you know you see this buckle here or the part of the slide so this part would normally be on your neck or against your body but if you turn it around so you don't have the grippy part on your body this part because this is kind of grippy then you're going to end up with this buckle that's kind of against your body it's not too bad i've tried it and uh, you know it's it's fine for me but i would normally again have the camera around my neck like this you know around my shoulder i mean and what was happening is if the grippy part was down on my shoulder when i'd go to swing my camera up then it would start gripping and kind of pull on my shirt so just flip it around it's not a big deal but i do like these better in general i mean i love the peak design straps because they're beautiful and uh, they are really durable really strong really well made um, i just wish they would make something without those metal buckles and you know something something with just a really low profile simple plastic buckle that would um you know kind of be easier on the camera so like this one i can just kind of bundle it all up and lay it right on top of the camera in the bag and it's not going to be a big deal you know i'm not worried about it scratching anything because these these um buckles are kind of rounded off and um the connections on all these this is like a leather and then a piece of piece of nylon here nylon strap little piece of leather i don't know if it's real leather or fake leather this is just a nice rounded off piece of plastic and um, the rest of it's kind of the same thing and a neoprene padded strap on the top it's not going to damage anything so that's really about it i just wanted to go over why i switched over from the peak design straps i you know again i do love these these are really pretty straps but um you know they're 50 dollars um so they're you know, I had three of them, so that's like $150 in just camera straps. And uh, you can buy the Optech strap um, with two of the extensions, and it comes with everything you need to connect to the camera, and that's only $25, like half the price. They do have a little bit smaller version. Um, this one goes for my Nikon ZFC, and um, which I'm using to record this with right now. So it, it's a little bit smaller, and it has these... Uh, little baby connections there so it's you know the quick disconnect again it's kind of like it's like a larger version of this right here and they are durable I mean if they fit in there tight they're not coming loose uh, these are all made in the US if it matters to anybody made in the United States um, I believe last I heard I think Peak Design was making these straps in Vietnam I'm not sure I'd have to look at the package again, but I believe they were made in Vietnam. But uh, yeah, that's it.
So I switched over, I got two of these, two of the bigger ones for my EM1 Mark III and my Nikon Z7, and uh, the smaller one right here, which is really not that small, not, not much smaller. It's a, the strap itself is just a little bit less wide, a little thinner, and um, the strap that actually holds the camera, you know, this, this here is a little bit thinner. I believe, uh, what did they say? This was rated for about 20 pounds, I think it was. Oh, 20 pounds? Don't quote me on that. But I mean, I know it was like way more than any kind of camera gear that I have. I mean, I'm not going to carry 20 pounds around my neck. Um, and I think this one was rated for around five pounds. And again, my ZFC is with that little 16 to 50 lens on there. It's really um, weighs almost nothing. So it's really lightweight. So that's it. That's my, that's my little camera strap set up. And again, um, with these quick disconnect connectors, you can, um, you can use the same strap and just get these different connectors and use it for something else, you know. Everything's backwards when I'm looking at the screen. <laughs> Alright, well thanks for watching.